Hello there and welcome to the CADSPEC YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be taking you through step-by-step -step how to install Autodesk products on your machine. My name is Laura from the Customer Success Team. I'm gonna be walking you through the whole process. Let's dive in. All right, let's get started. So first things first, you're going to need to log in with your email address and your passwords. So I'm gonna just pop those in there very quickly. Fantastic. So this will take you into your Autodesk portal. Now it's automatically loaded here into all products and services, which is precisely where we want to be, but it may take you to your homepage as well, but you've got your menu there on the left-hand side. So uh, yeah, we're going to just do a nice standard install here. So if uh, we want to do, what do we want to do today? So I think we want to do Power Mill Standard today. So we're just going to use that little search box at the top there. And we're going to hit Power Mill Standard. There he is. Now there are technically three ways to do this and we're going to show you these in more detail in other videos as well, but we've got the standard install, which just does it right off the bat, or we've got the download option and the custom install. But yeah, we'll go through those in more detail but today. We're going to install. In fact, just before we do this, I'm just going to quickly show you so you can actually download several versions back just by hitting that little drop down. But uh, everything else is fine there. So let's hit install. We're going to accept our terms and conditions. And it'll start downloading the file. Now, before you start your installation, it is imperative that you double check your system requirements. Now, easiest way to check this, simply go on the Autodesk website and they will have more details on there for you. But we've also handily made another YouTube video for you as well, which we'll link down in the description. And we'll also have a link up here. Fantastic, the installation is done. Now, it may require you to restart your computer, which we can do. Okay, so they're gonna want you to sign in using your email address and your password. And what it'll do is it'll usually pop up a browser window for you to pop your details into, which we'll very quickly do. Yep, it'll say you're signed in and it'll give you the option to go back to your product. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that was easy enough for you to follow. Now remember to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone you think would benefit. And we'll see you next time.